All right, this is what we're doing in class right now if you're at home. So what you're going to do is we've got these geometric objects here. You're going to zoom in there. We're going to be drawing them on this sheet of paper. And uh, so what I start, probably the first thing I'm going to start, I like to start with, uh, you know, a turtle shell, which means the largest thing. So I'm going to start on this cube right here. And I'm going to draw that fairly large in the middle of my page because I want to fill up the page, okay? So you can't see me right now, but I'm drawing it rather quickly, okay? So I'm going to draw all those objects. And um, so once again, I think what we'll do now is we'll kind of go up here and you can see my drawing, okay? So you can see I've drawn this, let's zoom out a little bit, there we go. So I'm drawing that, okay? And then I've got this cube that's on top of here. I'm gonna draw that. This cube actually has a K on it, but I'm gonna leave the K off just because I want to, okay? So I'm gonna do that. Uh, and then I've got a cylinder that's down here like this. I'll draw that cylinder. It's not a real tall cylinder, it's kind of short. I'm doing kind of foundation sketch first. In other words, I'm just kind of sketching the objects in and then I will clean them up later. So down here, I've got this platform that the, uh, the um, sphere is sticking out of. Here's this part. Now the sphere is about in this area and I'm gonna use a compass to draw that later. Uh, now, there happens to be a, a, a pyramid in back here, and I'm going to leave that out just because it's a little confusing because it's right behind the other thing. Over here is a box that has um, a pyramid on top of it. Well, it's not a box. It's a piece of wood, and there's a pyramid on top of this box. looks like this, and I can't hardly make out the side here, but I'm just going to sketch that in general size. And then in back, I can kind of see another box back here it looks like this it's kind of uh it's very small and it's behind the other one and there is a box back there but i'm going to leave that out so once my drawing is completed i will darken the lines in and clean them up when you clean them up you can use a little paper ruler like this one to sort of clean up your lines and make sure they're good okay then we're gonna be transferring this onto a good sheet of paper, and I'll show you how to do that in another demonstration. So here's my drawing. I went back in and I darkened the lines in the drawing, uh, but I've got this circle. And you know, when I draw a circle, I like using a compass. Okay, now one thing, if your compass is really like too flexible this way, I've got a little screwdriver that you can use right here to tighten that compass up. Okay, that way it holds itself really sturdy. Now, I'm going to put that point right in the center of where this post is, so probably about right there. And once again, put, push the point down, keep your pressure on the point, and then just gently rotate this around, and you should be able to, should be able to draw a perfect circle like this one, except for my pencil's a little bit loose, but I think I can get it in there. There you go, it's a little hard to see. And I've got some extra lines there, so I'm just gonna erase those extra lines. So I'm just left with my perfect circle as opposed to that previous one that wasn't so good, okay? So, and then I can go darken that in. And then I'm gonna transfer this onto a good piece of paper. And my next video, I will show you how that is done, okay? So hang on tight, good one coming up. All right, here's my sheet. Uh, I've drawn it here and I've made it lines nice and clean. And I wanna transfer that onto a good sheet of drawing paper like this one. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna put it on my light box. You can see this is the light box here. And I'm gonna put it down in the light box and then I'm gonna set the other sheet over the top of it. And if you're worried about this moving around, then perhaps you could use a little piece of tape underneath it and just kind of center that I'm just gonna tape maybe just two corners so it doesn't move. And I put tape there and I put tape down there. And I'm gonna flip that over and now I'm ready to trace it. Now I'm gonna trace it with a regular number two pencil and I can use my straight edge to do that, okay? And the key here, this is the key word, super light. I, don't want, I want those lines to be really extremely light because when I'm done, I don't want my drawing to have big bold lines around it. Got it? All right, so here is my uh, drawing. You can see it's drawn really light. The lines are really light, not very dark at all, okay? 
and because uh, that's how I traced them. This is the sheet that I had on the back. I really don't need this anymore, but I would probably just keep it in your slot just in case uh, this would get damaged. You could always retrace it with this again. So I, I would keep this, but you're, technically you don't need it, okay? And now I'm going to proceed to add the values that I'm seeing like this one. If you look at this drawing, look at how nicely, sharply defined there it is between some of these edges, okay? Um, so I'm going to make sure that I do that. Uh, everything's defined by value. Notice the shadows are going in the correct direction way. Um, but anyhow, this is exactly what I'm going to do now to this, only now I'm going to use my ebony pencil. All right?